Hello everybody, welcome to Abercap. My name is Andrew. Today I'm showing you a pretty new game called Conduct This. This app came out about a week ago, but either way I wanted to show you it, so let's give it a try. So, as you can see over here, there are different levels that you can select, um, and then you can go off to the world. So, first off you start in this world, and basically the entire point is you drive trains and you have to deliver passengers without running into cars, other trains, bridges, uh, pedestrian, just about everything that you could possibly imagine. So we're going to go off and we're going to go back a couple levels to Green Valley. So there's a time limit in which you have to drop off people and different things that you have to try to avoid. So as you can see here, here's my train that just filled up with passengers. We're going to go this way and then drop them off. And then we're going to stop this train, have it go this way. And then as you can see, this train is going to go that way, this train is going to go this way where they eventually keep on avoiding each other. So basically this is the entire point behind the game. You want to be able to deliver all of your people without there being any accidents or incidents. Sometimes you do have to stop your train in order for them to not crash, but basically that is the entire point of this game. This is one of the easier levels. Once you set them up and time them, uh, they don't run into each other. So again, just a really simple, cool, fun game. Um, the graphics are okay. Um, I believe it could have been a little bit better, a little bit more challenging on some levels, but overall I do think it is a really fun game. So now we are going to go to the current level that I stopped at, which is called Busy Town. Which, this level is very difficult. There is a police car that you have to look out for, as well as a train that you have to look out for. Um, overall, not an easy level at all in my opinion, um, especially since I already messed up. And there we go. So that's what happens when you mess up. When you do mess up, you're, the train crashes and you have to start all over again. So, here we are loading up our passengers. Once again, we are going to have to stop that train, come over here, switch that track, have that move forward, drop off those passengers, switch this off before we continue on. So this is definitely one of the harder levels in my opinion because you have a car to look after as well as a train. Um, but overall I do think it is a really fun game that I think you guys should certainly try out. Um, we're going to let this guy pass and then we're going to let this guy go forward. We're going to have to stop that train and then let it continue. Oh no, I just sent off my train off the tracks. Well then, we sent off my one red train. I don't even know where. And it crashed? It went into the building? All right, so as you can see, if you don't pay attention to one little thing, you basically ruin the entire game. Um, well, not the entire game, but your, your gameplay. Like, you're just completely screwed, like there. I went forward, hit the police car, and I'm dead. Then move these guys forward, switch the track back, because we do not want to crash again. Oh God, deliver, 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 deliver. Okay, so now these guys are going again train should be okay. We're going to stop this guy really quick, then continue him on. We're going to switch these tracks to stop that train. Stop this train. Let this train continue. Switch the tracks. Let these guys travel on. I don't think we're going to get a perfect score this time, but we can certainly try. Oh, oh, we might get it in the green. And we got it. So there we go. Level complete in the green zone. So we did get three stars. So overall, I do think this is a kind of a fun game, um, definitely for a younger audience. I don't really think um, an older adult would really play this game as much. And overall, the world is pretty small in my opinion. Um, there's not many actual tracks that, overall. Um, like you can see, I'm on the last one here, and then there's only, what, three other islands that I could possibly go on. One other cool thing is once you do complete a map, you then are able to win trains. So as you can see here, I do have this North Play Type 1 and this older Class A4 Mallard. So that is one other thing that's kind of nice is you can pick different trains. But overall, that is the basics of the game. As you can see, I did already purchase this world for 148 coins. Um, I've yet to purchase any of these because I can't afford them. But we're going to play one more game in the snow and then we are going to call the video there. So let's start off with Snowy Plains. So currently this is my train. Looks like we're going to be rotating between red and blue. Um, okay, so we're going to have this guy go that way. 
And then, okay, so this is the only way that we're gonna be switching, I believe. Is like this. Uh, so he has to go to blue. Okay, so this level isn't too bad. Um, you just have to make sure that you pay attention to which track which train goes to. So this one's going to blue. I believe the next one is going to red. You're gonna want that train to go forward. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, so that one dropped off at the correct location. So we are not gonna get a perfect score on this one because we did let that one train pass. Um, so this train we're gonna want to let go straight. This train we're gonna want to let go to red. This train we're gonna want to stop and then continue on. This train we're gonna want it to go to blue. And then I believe the next train we're gonna want it to go straight. And then we're gonna go back to red, I believe. No, we're going back to blue. And then we're going to blue again. And then we go to red. I don't think we're gonna get a good score on this one, but we could certainly try. This one we wanna go straight. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. It's okay for them to go off on the track. Um, this one we wanna go red. Next one I believe also wants to go red. Alright guys, I don't think we're gonna get a perfect score here, but we could certainly try. This one's gonna go blue. Does it have 12 passengers on it? And it did! We actually completed it three stars. So as you can see there, that's also how you get your gold so you can move on to the next levels. Overall, I do think it is a fun game. If you guys do think it's cool, make sure to check out the link in below. You can click on that, take you right to the game, you can download it from there. Also, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. And that is all for today, and I will catch you guys all later.